Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So recently I've been rereading The Prisoner of Azkaban along with the Wizarding World Book Club on Pottermore. It's been quite a while since I last read this book and it's honestly been so nice immersing myself back into the quirky story. And it's really cool remembering the parts that are in the book but left out in the movie. One of these parts in particular that I loved was the first chapter, Outpost, where Harry receives some letters from an unconscious Errol, Hedwig, and a handsome tawny owl. So I thought, as we never got to see these letters portrayed in film, why not try and make a DIY going off what was written about them in the book? So the first thing I did was I went online and I found some fonts that were meant to look like Ron and Hermione's handwriting, and a more formal witch-style handwriting for Professor McGonagall. So after downloading the fonts, I went through pages 12 to 16 and copied word for word the letters that are written out. In the book, included in Ron's letter, there is a clipping of the Daily Prophet's front cover showing the Weasleys in Egypt. I tried looking for a copy online to print out, however couldn't find one in good enough quality, so instead I decided to create my own which will be linked down in the description if you guys would like to use it. So after I was completely happy with the layout of each letter, I printed all of them onto A4 sheets of plain white paper. Next I chose the envelopes I was going to use. As Ron sent his from Egypt and Hermione sent hers from her holiday in France, I tried to find envelopes that would match these environments whilst also trying to personalise it to both of them. I chose a simple square envelope for Ron. An airmail envelope I found that was perfect as it had the French translation of airmail written on it and a small neat rectangular envelope for the Hogwarts note. The next step was the aging and tanning process which I used a wet tea bag to stain the letters and envelopes trying to make them look more wizard style. My technique didn't entirely work however I tried to make the tanning on Ron's letter rough as I imagined he might not have been able to afford the best quality parchment and tried to tan Hermione's and McGonagall's lightly and neatly to reflect their personalities. I also tried to do the same with the envelopes and made Ron's a much darker shade as it could match the sandy environment in Egypt. After I'd finished, I left them outside to dry. Once they had done drying, I trimmed the edges and cut each letter down to the size I wanted. I also tore the edge of the article to make it look more realistic and that Ron had torn it out of the newspaper. Moving on to the envelopes and Harry's address. As we know, Harry no longer sleeps in the cupboard and instead sleeps in Dudley's old room called, in the book, the smallest bedroom. And I remembered a passage in Philosopher's Stone that referenced it, so went about copying the address onto each envelope. For McGonagall's writing, I tried to make it as neat as possible, however that didn't really work out, but for the colour I used her famous green ink. I made Ron's handwriting scribbly but quirky at the same time. I messed up a bit on the layout of Hermione's, however quickly thought how she might recover it and added a clear row of small dots on each side. And to add the final finishing touches, I added some tiny paw prints on Ron's as if Scabbers had fallen in the ink pot and crawled across the parchment. And of course for McGonagall's, the bold Hogwarts wax seal. So there you have it guys, that was my Outpost DIY. I had a lot of fun making this and I really enjoyed trying to make a prop just by going off the information in the book, as I can imagine that is what the prop designers on the Harry Potter films had to do. If I had more time I would have loved to add much more detail like maybe foreign Outpost stamps, but that's all for the future. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Nox.